today I want to talk to you guys about the state of the DJ industry and when we could possibly be looking to get back to work. Welcome to Coronavirus Part 3. Coronavirus! I'm telling you, shit is real! I have personally been in lockdown for close to 60 days. It is now May 4th. I have been in lockdown since March 7th. Shout out to all my party animals tonight. Here we go. Little did I know that that would be my last gig. I've been DJing for over a decade, and in that time span, I have never gone more than two weeks without DJing. It's now been two months since I've been stuck at home, and quite frankly, I've been honestly just losing my mind at home. I've been doing my best to stay optimistic about the whole situation, but honestly, it's been rough. Being stuck at home just kind of messes with my head a little bit. It's honestly put me in somewhat of a bit of a depression. I love like work I like to stay busy and I honestly do enjoy and love my job I love DJ it's been a rough couple of months and not to mention the financial toll that this pandemic has caused on our industry I know many of you guys out there are staying optimistic and saying that basically those dates that were postponed to further dates that's assured money however for people like myself that is just lost income I'm personally pretty much booked every single weekend of the year so every postponement that I've had is essentially lost money because I would have probably been working that date regardless. And by the looks of things, it does not look like we are going to get back to work anytime soon. And rest assured that the postponements are not over. From the looks of things, it looks like reopening the states will be happening in phases. And it seems like it's going to be a four-step process. I believe May 15th will kick off phase one, which will essentially open a few businesses following step two if phase one continues on a downward trend with the virus. Basically, as long as the virus continues to decline during each phase, we'll be able to move on to the next. Phase one is going to happen May 15th. Phase two will add another 14 days or two weeks, which will take us to June 1st. Phase three will take us from the 15th to the 30th and phase four which is where we reside we are the bottom of the totem pole we are last in line to reopen entertainment industry will be in phase four and from the looks of things it does not look like we'll be reopening until july and that's only if the virus does not relapse as long as we continue on that downward trajectory it looks like we're gonna get back to work in july and i thought my camera's about to die that brings me to my next point what's gonna happen when we actually do reopen that's what I'm really scared of. That first gig back is going to be a weird one. After these last crazy weeks that we've had, I'm not sure anybody is going to want to be in the middle of a packed dance floor. So I'm scared. I wonder what's going to happen. I am for certain that when we return, things will not be the same. Masks may be the norm. We might be doing weddings with everybody wearing masks. Phone parties may come back. Remember phone parties back in the early 2000s? Those might be all the rage now, spraying everybody with soap and Lysol and all that. That might be a new reality that we live in. For bars and nightclubs, I honestly see those places just booming with business. People can't wait to go out and there's a bunch of people who are just like, F the virus, I don't care about the virus, I wanna go out and those people are going to flood restaurant, bars, and nightclubs. So I see business as usual. With weddings and other private events, I'm not so optimistic. I'm actually very fearful that those businesses are still going to be hurting even after all this is long set and done. It's scary because we deal with a broad age group. We deal with kids all the way up to senior citizens. So it's scary to get everybody back, especially for the older folks. I'm not sure how many of those people are even going to want to attend weddings. It might be their granddaughter getting married, but they might say, hey, I love you, but I love living more, so I'm not showing up to your wedding. Brides and grooms are gonna have a smaller guest list to work with because I'm thinking even if they do proceed to have their wedding, I'm guessing that guest list is probably going to dwindle out with people still in fear of the virus. I also dealt with many brides in March, April, and May who postponed to early June, July, and August, and I'm 
not so sure how many of those weddings are going to continue. And going back to what I was saying in loss of money, rescheduling twice is just going to hurt even more. I've been talking to some of my DJ friends and some of them are even charging their brides and grooms for moving their date a second time and going as far as even hitting them with an additional fee if they move to 2021. In my opinion, the smart move if you are a bride and groom is to probably move your date to 2021 because if you continue to have your wedding in 2020, chances are you're going to lose all your vendors, not to mention your dream wedding might not happen as you expected. It's definitely been a rough couple of weeks, not just for us, but for our clients and the road back is also not going to be an easy one. I cannot wait to get back to work. I miss it. Let me know your thoughts down in those comments below. Thank you bro so much for watching this video. Please share it with a friend. Like it if you like this. Subscribe if you're new around here. And if you really want to help me out, don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time I do another video when I get my voice back. <laughs> Signing off, DJ Bar. Stay awesome, bros. Peace.